Hawaii hosts the National Junior Pan Pacific Swimming Championships next week. Officials say they're eager to bring more large sporting events like this to the islands. Jen Boniza has more. From marathons to water polo and golf, Hawaii officials say large sporting events are vital to our economy and our well-being. We always look at the economic opportunities and who's coming, who's spending money. But I also think that it's important for the people of Hawaii to have something to rally behind. Wakai says they are pushing to bring more events to the islands. And he says he'd like to diversify. We really should look at taking advantage of Hawaii's strengths, and one of which is uh, water sports. On August 24th, the Junior Pan Pacific Swimming Championships kick off at the K. Mark Takai Veterans Memorial Aquatic Center on Oahu. The city wants pool users to know regular public swimming schedules will be suspended August 19th to the 28th. There's about 227 uh, teenagers ages 13 to 18 years old that are competing from 10 different countries around the Pan Pacific area. The four-day event will host athletes from 10 countries and is considered a stepping stone to the Olympics. The event is free to the public and will also be broadcast on TV and the web. I think the exposure is key to you know showcasing Hawaii to the entire planet. One of the biggest sports events, hands down, has been the Honolulu Marathon, which celebrates its 50th anniversary this year. They generate about $109 million in economic spend during that uh, week when uh, visitors, from mainly from Japan, as well as locals, really infuse a lot of cash into our economy. The Hawaii Tourism Authority has supported world championship events like Molokai Hoi and Nawahine Okekai for years. Canoe paddling is another uh, important pillar of the Hawaii brand because us, it's, it's Hawaiian, it's authentic, it's us, right? So surfing and canoe paddling uh, are two pillars of that. But they've been canceled due to COVID since 2020. The hope is they'll resume soon. According to Akai, the state's ability to bring in other mega sporting events hinges on the future of Aloha Stadium. He says they are already in discussions with the United Soccer League and Major League Rugby as tenants in the future stadium. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.